Artists, creatives, and designers, welcome to Dream Aloud Art, the podcast where creatives are educated on seeing value in themselves and their creations. Presented to you by RTA, respecttheartist.com. I'm your host, fellow creative and friend, Electra B. Frederick. Let's go. What is going on, y'all? What is good? What is good? What is good? Everything. So many things. So many things are good. Like, aren't you grateful? Aren't you aren't you grateful that number one, you are here live and in person? And number two, you actually can afford a device to listen to this podcast. Number three, if you are driving and listening to this podcast, then you have a car and that is something extremely grateful uh extremely grateful what that is something to be extremely grateful for number four if you're on your way to work well then aren't you grateful that you have a job i could go on for days there's so much to be grateful for so you tapped on this episode because you're like oh snap We're going to talk about why motivation is necessary for your success. Necessary for your success. Come on. I'm about to, whoo, y'all know I'm sipping my cacao. Look, I want to say so much. I'm stumbling over my words. (laughs) I want to say so much to you. But y'all know I have my cacao right here. I got my retreat drinks. So good. But I am highly charged and highly motivated, so let's go. First and foremost, I don't get on this mic. I don't record a podcast unless my energy is where it needs to be. And um, uh, by golly, it is today, okay? It it is most of the time. Let me just be real with y'all. Most of the time, I'm going to, if we want to put a number on it, about 90% of the time, my energy is where it needs to be. So, That can and we're we're gonna get into a few things here, but of course that could mean when it's time for me to decompress, my energy is right there. It's like okay, cool, decompressing time, level out, get with it, connect with it, and then do it right. Do it, which could mean sitting still, which could mean relaxing. Do it could mean be be active physically, physically get the moving. Okay, get up off my duff and then go do something. Right, so. We're, we're going to dive into that. All right. I got so much. I got so much to share with y'all. Okay. Firstly, I want to tell y'all about Respect the Artist because I don't think some of you have clarity on what the artist community is about. So one of the many things that Respect the Artist is, is about when it comes to supporting artists, one of the many things is motivating you, keeping you on track keeping you on track. Whatever your goal is, whatever your idea of success is, number one, it helps immensely to be surrounded by other people who are goal-oriented. Number two, uh, accountability. So if um, I'm looking for you, because currently we are having uh, virtual showcases, so if I'm looking for you every two weeks, and let's just say that your goal is to be able to be more fluent and knowledgeable and able to talk more about your work well then I'm looking for you baby cakes what are are, where you at so that level of accountability and mentorship that's what respect the artist is about okay the links are in the description I just have to let you know that because I want to give clarity to people who have yet to understand what it's about so make sure you click the link join RTA join respect the artist be part of the tribe and be intentional and have mentorship and have accountability on a regular basis. But I'm gonna keep it real with you on this episode of why motivation is necessary. So necessary. I'm gonna keep it real with you. A lot of artists won't. A lot of artists won't listen to advice. So here's the thing. 
in the world of content creation, people love to hot glue information together that they just stumble across and say, okay, well, I follow this page on IG. I like what they're saying. This is good. This feels like breakthrough. Oh, I like this reels over here on Instagram. Oh, this is good. Oh, look at this information over here. This sounds good, but they don't want focused accountability because you just might become successful and you're scared of that. Check out the previous um, episode that I did on why you're terrified of success. So again, in the free 99 world, all this content out here, everyone, you know, people like to piece things together. That's not, how, how, how is that helping you to not actually have focused accountability, focused mentorship? How does that help? Again, click the links in the bio, or you can just send an email to team at respecttheartist.com if you want more information, or you go to the website, respecttheartist.com. You know, so, whoo, I'm getting started. I got started five minutes ago. All right, so let's go. If you look up, because y'all know my, my, one of my favorite sources here, right? Miriam Webster's Webster. Miriam, I'm going to just start calling it MW Dictionary. <laughs> Miriam Webster Dictionary, right? I'm not going to run with your idea of what motivation means, and I'm not going to run with your, your, uh, any energy that you have connected to the word motivate or activate. We're going to be on the same page for this conversation. So looking up the word motivate, we have a general idea of what that means, but I'm going to focus on the antonyms of motivate. So some antonyms, which are the opposite of motivate, you have words such as soothe, calm, pacify, what? <laughs> pacify, bro? Like, really? Pacify. <laughs> pacify, appease. These are words that are the opposite of motivate. They're antonyms for motivate. And the reason why I'm doing this right now is for you to look at things from a different angle. So I'm a motivational speaker, right? And when it comes to the motivating aspect, we understand there's a charge of energy that is is allowing you to be amplified. It's an awakening of something that needs to be amplified and then converted into an action of sorts, right? In other words, is to help get you up and moving and going and getting physically active. But the reason I shared the antonyms is so you can see this from a different angle because what I come across sometimes is that Artists tend to, certain artists that I've worked with as my clients, they, they hang out in the soothe, the calm, the pacify, the appeasing. They hang out there longer than even they're comfortable with. So in other words, they love to hear, they love to listen, they love to watch, they love to spectate, but by golly, please don't ask for them to do something. Like don't ask for them to put anything into any particular action. I've been there before. Y'all know I only talk on things that I have experienced. So I remember back in heyday when... <clears throat> I would be the content listener, right? I'm, I'm just, I'm watching, I'm listening, I'm hearing, I'm knowing, but two things were not happening. Number one is that I'm not taking a physical action of sorts, okay? So say I like what others are creating online and I love their content and I love what they're showing, I love what they're demonstrating, but where in the world was I taking action. Yes. Have you been through this before? I know you have. I know you have. And 
I would look at what other people literally, can we look at this for a moment? I'm looking at what other, other people are doing, desiring that kind of result, but I'm lacking the motivation <laughs> to even get started. And this might require an investment of my time and oh my goodness, if, if, it, if it requires putting down $2, oh no, we can't do that. But something is required of you to, to reach a level of any kind of success. Something is required of you. It is an action. It is a decision that, firstly, it's a decision to take the action. But man, I used to love to watch. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's gonna say amen. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. That's why so many people are in a position currently where they have yet to feel or even feel like they're headed in the direction of success because they are convincing themselves that they do not need the motivation. It's like they know it, but they kind of sort of don't. It's this in between and y'all know I lean very hard on confidence which is, which if you break down the etymology of the word, means with faith. They are lacking that. They're, they, they, they're lacking it. That is the 100% certainty that you need to take action and get motivated. That motivation is fuel. Motivation is a charge. If you could see what motivation looks like, that's why so I feel, me personally, that's why so many people gravitate to superhero movies, right? I feel like if you could see motivation on your physical body, it would glow. It would or I'll ask you, what would that look like for you? It would glow. It would look it would emanate a color or maybe it would emanate several colors. If you wave your hand in the air, what, what would happen with the motivation? When you're speaking, what is happening? What does that look like? What does that energy look like when it's emitted? It's emitting off of you. Motivation. It's so critical. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. Y'all know where I'm at with it. Y'all know where I'm at with it, all right? I'm just saying. So we're also gonna look at the word activate. Activate, now I'm on my laptop here and I'm typing it up because so I wanna make sure I'm reading this the way it needs to be read correctly, right? All right, so activate, other words for activate, power, spark, drive, generate, provoke, run. Look, I mean, it's, you get the idea of activation, but I'm doing this for a reason so we can put energy and focus on this subject and electrify. Ooh, of course, you know, I like that. Electrify. So let's look at the antonyms, the opposite words. Deactivate, stop, cut, shut off, halt, suppress, suppress. So you can't, is it a wise idea for you to meditate for the rest of your life? I'll let you answer that. Some of y'all are saying yes, right? So if we want to go to a spiritual level with it, I believe that if we, well, I'll say for, for myself, I believe that my thoughts are the meditation because there's peace in my thoughts. So even if I'm speaking and my voice is physically sounding like it's amplifying, there's peace in it because I know that this is something I am supposed to be doing. So I do it. There's peace there and I accept that. But what I'm talking about is the physical meditative state. Like there are things that you need to be doing, but you Perhaps I have been there before too. I get it. I shared the story with y'all a moment ago, a brief story. I'm going to halt. I'm going to stop. I'm going to break. These are the antonyms. I'm going to deactivate. 
And again, nothing wrong with these things, but it's to understand when it's time for you to get the going, I need for you to get going. When it was time for me to get going, I needed to go uh, go do it. If I'm about to run a race, and some of y'all know that I ran cross country when I was in high school, and I was very good. I'm just going to pat myself on the back. I did an excellent job for a first time runner um, coming in 10th place in um, the all the state competition in Tennessee, where all the high school cross country teams gathered and competed. And I came, num- I uh, finished at number 10, 10th place, best 10th place in history for me. I was like, yes, <laughs> 10th place on y'all, <laughs> stunning on y'all. There were hundreds of girls that competed, right? But for some of you who, who knew that already, when I went to the start line, right, I'm about to start and that person takes the little pop gun, whatever it's called, and they shoot it in the air. Is that a time for me to halt? Like, I'm just, I'm just checking. Is that a time for me to not move forward? Like I'm supposed to stop right now? What? So some of y'all have made it to this episode and you literally know you need that accountability. You need that mentorship. You need that sense of community. But will you actually do it? Will, will you connect I that's the real question are you going to take action motivation activation this is so critical for you to succeed because I'm gonna keep it real with you and maybe I need to make another podcast about this there are a lot of lazy folk out there come on are you ooh, ooh. are you one of them I'm gonna leave it right there because I got news for you. What I've experienced being the spectator, right? I was the spectator. I pay for, this is what I need for y'all to hear. I pay for the ticket to get in and I spectate. I watch. I'm not on the field. I'll just watch from over here. This is what a lot of people are doing. They watch. They just, they, they, and yeah, and oh, I hear some of y'all right now. And I'm like, well, I'm in this stage right now where I need to watch. Well, go ahead and watch. But just understand there's a difference between watching and learning and saying, you know what? I'm going to take that next step. I'm going to take that next action. There's a difference between that and watching saying, I think I'll stay over here. It's safer over here, but there's that little voice inside of you. That is the greatest energy, might I add, but the little voice inside, the quiet voice, the calm voice that you always hear, which is an echoing of your energy. That's telling you, you know, you're not fulfilled here. Like it, it looks very safe from a survival point of view, but for some reason, you don't feel like you're evolving and you need the motivation. That motivation, that energy, that confidence, you have to have the confidence in yours, which you do anyway, but you need to recognize that you have what you have, recognize what you have, and then you need to activate that thing. You need to be motivated to use that thing. That thing is not in you for you to just sit on your duff and make zero decisions and put no energy toward that. Because what I have seen and what I've experienced, but with the co- the coaching that I have and working with clients, even the Respect the Artist members, again, the link is in the, des- in the description, y'all. But what I have experienced is that I I have watched what happens with certain artists where literally in February, they know they should be doing something. And then February next year comes and they have not done anything different. They haven't made an investment. They haven't sought a mentor. They love to try to cut and paste information. But where has that gotten you? Where did it get me? It didn't get me nowhere, bruh. Until I actually made an investment, until I made a decision, until I clicked somewhere, until I spoke to somebody. 
let me tell you something. There are a lot of really awesome free gems out there. Free, free, they're free. They're free. They're all, they're free gems. There's a lot. But do you want to know how many gems are behind the closed door? Like, do, do you, do, have you ever thought about that? It's like, that's, some, there's amazing information. But what's behind that door over there? You want to find out? I mean, you it's a choice. Let me tell you, and, and I'm using this as an example. We've had Respect the Artist members who have been riding with us for years and they wouldn't change a thing. Like this, how, what was life before that? This is what you experience when you are motivated. When you're motivated, you take action action. When you're motivated, you go out there and speak to people. When you're motivated, you connect with folks. You go to the art um, exhibits. You go, you meet other artists. And in respect, the artists here in Richmond, the Richmond chapter, we meet in person. You have to be motivated to be successful. You have to. I'm talking to the artist that that understands where they're at right now. Maybe you're going through a healing process right now and you're wondering like how, well, I mean, you know, I'm still trying to heal. I'm trying to, baby, I got news for you. Yes, your healing journey will continue. I hope so. Who doesn't want to be healthier? But why use that? And y'all know, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's the, the people who who get this are receiving it in their spirit completely. There is a difference between saying that I need this time for healing and then it crosses over into just pure laziness because you know there's an action you should be taking. Even if that action means contacting a therapist, it's an action. Like in action, air quotes, air quotes, in action is a pause of an action, but there's still an action that's happening, okay? Your heart's beating, that's an action. Your mind is still operating, that's an action. There are actions that still need to be taken. Motivation is so critical to your success, y'all. I'm, you know, I, I mean, you know, being a motivational speaker, of course, this is my forte. It's so critical. Where would I be if I didn't have motivation? Where would I be if I didn't have a community to support me, like respect the artists, right? Where would I be if if I didn't have certain family members and friends support and cheer me on? Where would I where would I be? I don't even want to know. <laughs> Let's keep it real. It's all good. I don't need to know. So imagine the levels that you can be taken to when you have correct and appropriate mentorship. Imagine the places you can go when you have and you know artists, you have a community of artists, you have a community of support. Imagine how much that will amplify you. Motivation, y'all. Motivation. Aren't there some songs that have motivation in it? maybe it could be my motivation i feel like that's somebody's song is that like future future and somebody else hold on we have to find out because oh i look hold on baby i could be your motivation i think that's i'm looking it up right now kelly kelly Rowland. something like that oh hold on there we go I hope y'all can hear that good. Okay, well, I'll let y'all look that up because I'm not going to let that whole thing play. But the point, (laughs) the point is, well, the point is on that song, she says, baby, I could be a motivation. Come on. Motivation. Critical. (laughs) All right, y'all. So once again, If you need that mentorship, you need that motivation, you need that accountability, you need the artist community to to link up with. I can't, listen, I'm so passionate in this moment about it. It, The links are in the description. Let me just say that right now. The links are in the description in this episode, but it just work a little bit of my nerves when I know people personally 
who have yet to become a member, but they always want there. It's like they're always seeking. And that is y'all. That's a trick. That's a lie from the pits of you know where. It's the always seeking and you don't see that it's already here. What like what else are you? It's the it's deceptive, y'all. It's a deceptive mindset. Always seeking and never finding. That is that is a lie. Come on. It's right here. It's right here for you. Literally made for you. Specifically made for you. The my question is, do you believe it? Links are in the description below, y'all. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. RTA stands for Respect the Artist Point Blank. I'll catch you on the next episode, baby cakes. Peace, peace. Artists, creatives, and designers, it has been an honor and a pleasure to spend this time with you. I'm grateful for your encouragement, love, respect, and support. Follow this podcast and share this episode with another creative who needs to hear it. Your positive ratings and reviews are highly appreciated. Screen capture this episode, post it, and tag me on Instagram at dreamaloudart so I can show the love in return. For more information on having an artist consultation with me or for being on the YouTube show for artist interviews, check the description on this episode or go to respecttheartist.com. That's R-E-S-P-E-C-T-T-H-E-A-R-T-I-S-T-S.com. Much love to y'all. And remember, RTA stands for Respect the Artist's. I'll catch y'all on the next episode. Peace, peace from here to the far east.